The next talk will be given by Professor Ryuzo Furukawa. He is a professor, faculty of environmental studies. The title of his talk is Global Scale Innovator for Sustainable Society. Before I invite him, I'd like to say a few words. I understand that there are many university students as well as high school students participating in this program today. The following talk by Professor Furukawa is a program that we are currently implementing at the Graduate School of Tokyo City University. Therefore, this talk will be interesting not only to high school students, but also university students. Today, Professor Furukawa will be participating remotely. Professor Furukawa, please. Thank you for introducing me, uh, Professor Honma. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yuzo Furukawa. My major is environmental studies. Today, I would like to introduce one of the new program at Tokyo City University. Let me share my slide. Okay. Today, I'd like to show you about Global Scale Innovator Program for Sustainable Society. This is a new program. Uh, for graduate school students. Let's start from the background of this program. As you know, there are many global scale issues such as air pollution, uh, plastic waste, and uh, climate change, and also industrial waste sometimes natural disaster. All of them are very important uh, serious issues, especially climate change caused by CO2 emission is very serious. Please look at this picture. These are plastic waste on the beach. There are also floats, nets, ropes made by plastics. Uh, this is Okinawa Labu Island near Okinawa, Japan. These are coming from the ocean whenever storm or typhoon comes. These plastic, plastic bottles are made in China, Korea, or other countries. If we have these plastics on the beach, these wastes will change into the very small microplastics and they are easily captured into the body of humans. I have been Okinawa Arab Island and have done several projects. I have movie about issues in Okinawa Arab Island. So let's see it. Could you please start the movie? Okinawa Arab Island is about 500 kilometers south of Kagoshima. This island is formed by coral and is surrounded by a beautiful waterside full of nature. Nothing compares to our blue skies and clear waters filled with many different creatures. There are hermit crabs with beautiful purple claws. We often happen to see them walking across the beach while carrying their large barrier-shaped shells.
やぞカリカリカリカリカリカリカリカリ The beach where the clubs lives in littered with trash such as plastic bottles Light plastic trash such as plastic bottles This trash drifted to the seashore from across the sea. Floats, nets, rope used for fishing, and other various things used in human life became garbage and scattered in nature. The majority of the litter is plastics. Most plastics in the ocean break up due to ultraviolet rays, and these small plastic bits are called microplastics. Microplastics are ending up in the bodies of sea creatures, and its effect will be harmful to humans. It's hard to pick up the microplastics, however, it's important to pick up. As much as possible and cooperate with everyone before it becomes too late. The earth is not only for humans, it is an important place for living that many creatures share. Various global environmental problems, such as global warming, are getting worse. These are the problems caused by the change from the way we live based on natural resources to the way we live based on underground resources. Now, we need to change our way of life into a sustainable one. And we must make our everyday life more environmentally friendly and well being. How was the movie?、Uh, this is one of the global scale p r o b l e m And、uh, maybe we need to think about not only waste on the beach, but also our lifestyle using plastics or non renewable resources. But how can we solve these issues? Please think about it. Here is another background. In Japanese case,、uh, population of local c i t y is decreasing rapidly. In 2045,、uh, the population of local c i t y、uh, for example, will be about 50% less than now. Because of decreasing population, community is disappearing right now. And also, traditional culture and traditional technology also disappearing. And the technician is also disappearing from the local city. Here is a picture of Kitakami City. This is one of the local cities in Japan. It looks very good, but there are the same problems. Long River meets here.、Uh, it's about 250 kilometers long. 
and before the World War II, many ships came here and boat carpenter lived here and there was a big market here. But now they have gone. It is very difficult to keep the lifestyle for a long time. And community, uh, traditional culture uh, are disappearing. They are aparting from nature. So in that situation, uh, in the local city, uh, this is a one example, a secret based project have started uh, in Kitakami city. They made tree house like this and gave opportunity to children to make everything by wood or vine by themselves. They are trying to achieve a new lifestyle. The concept is creating fun in nature by themselves. After this project, many children often play outside and not play games inside. This gave them new affluent lifestyles and will be one solution for less CO2 emission lifestyle and using nature in our daily life. This is another lifestyle innovation event of calligraphy using morning dew in Toyoka city. Uh, they wake up early in the morning and they uh, take morning dew uh, at the garden on the leaf. Then they prepare calligraphy for writing wishes. It takes about 30 minutes early in the morning to finish making black ink uh, in silence. During this process, they find goodness of silence, thinking, and goodness of wishes and goodness of nature. Actually, this lifestyle is old one in this area. Recently, most of them forgot it. They will find out old lifestyle sometimes have goodness for spiritual affluence and will be one solution for less CO2 emission lifestyle and using nature in our daily life. This is another lifestyle innovation event uh, called Bus Stop Art Project in Shima City. In this area, uh, they always use a car, not the public bus. So senior high school students uh, are drawing pictures on the surface of the stone bus stop into blue ocean. It's very nice, it looks very nice so that they can wait in the bus stop uh, for a long time and can be happy. This gave them new affluent lifestyles and will be one solution for less CO2 emission lifestyle in our daily life. This is also another uh, same kind of project. Uh, senior high school students uh, drew pictures at the garbage collection area like this, uh, so that people can go to garbage collection area easily and can be happy. This gave them new affluent lifestyles and will be uh, one of for less CO2 emission lifestyle in our daily life. Now, in this picture, do you know uh, what they are doing? They are sitting on the chair and uh, there is a black one back here. And uh, she is looking at the smartphone or mobile phone. Mm. They are sharing solar energy using lithium ion battery like this. Uh, they produce energy from the sun and they restore the energy in the batteries and they are using uh, uh, they are using the local energy like this. This is maybe the new type of community. These technologies will make new values in the community. 
This gave them new affluent lifestyles with new technology and will be one solution for less CO2 emission in our daily life. This is a last example, uh, unutilized resources restaurant. Uh, unutilized resources and food loss are important issues in Japan. This picture is the restaurant uh, which use unutilized fish or uh, crabs. And uh, they don't usually eat these uh, fishes, but they have started looking for new resources uh, in neighborhood for new business. Like this, we need more solution uh, for each place and people in order to live in harmony with nature. So we research on the solution and go to the places and do many experiments with real people. Think globally, act locally is very important. So we think that we need more innovator like uh, who can facilitate such technological innovation or such lifestyle innovation in Asia. So we have started new innovator education program. This is called Global Scale Innovator Program for Sustainable Society, GIPS, G-I-P-S. This provides a transdisciplinary innovator education program based on environmental and information studies for both master's and doctor degrees. DIPS is one of the programs selected by MEXT for full supporting governmental scholarships. In this program, you can learn uh, perspective and the system thinking, communication skill, and uh, strategic planning and ethics and so on. In addition to high level research skills and feasible research competence in order to make place-based solution for sustainable society. At last, I'd like to introduce my lab. They are my students, my, my laboratory students. And my research theme is sustainable lifestyle. And uh, we are researching the methodology of backcasting, lifestyle design, and uh, uh, methodology uh, learning from old lifestyles, and uh, business system, and nature technology. Have you heard nature technology? Nature technology means learning from nature. Yeah, nature has many good technologies for sustainability, but we don't use much. So uh, we are developing the system uh, to learn from nature. Uh, I show you one example. Uh, for example, there are nests of termites, like the ant house, ant house in the savanna, uh, in the nest where outside temperature is 50 degrees at noontime and uh, close to zero degrees in the evening, the nest remain regular at a consistent 30 degrees. One of the Japanese companies developed products inspired by nature, by this technology. Uh, in this case, inspired by soils. So I show you the uh, one of the uh, technologies. Okay, can you see this tile? This is very thin. And uh, this tile uh, is developed, uh, inspired by soil technology, nature technology. And there is a very small, small uh, holes uh, very, very small holes in it so that this can absorb the water in the air. Let me do it. Okay, 
this is a tile. Did you see the water absorbed? This is because of very small uh, porous, very small holes. So if you put these tiles in, in the room, the temperature and the humidity, uh, we can control the temperature and humidity. So it's going to be very comfortable. And uh, there are another similar technology right here. Uh, this is a uh, Japanese nabe, <laughs> in Japanese, uh, pan for the cooking. Uh, this is made by uh, soils, and uh, this also has a very small holes in it, uh, in it like this. So that uh, in summer, if you want to eat very fresh raw, raw fish, uh, you put the raw fish on it, and uh, ice in it. And also you spray water on this uh, cover. Then if you put on this, uh, you can keep very cooler uh, even in summer so that uh, you can eat very fresh raw fish in summer. This is one of the technology. And uh, last example. I show you, I show you this is last example. Uh, this is a plate made by wood. And uh, do, you, do you see the uh, several colors on it? Yes, this is, uh, this uh, plate is made of wood, but uh, wood is from the fruits tree. In Japan, we uh, grow, uh, persimmon and uh, cherry blossom, cherry, and uh, and so on, La France. But uh, in Yamagata Prefecture, uh, many farmers uh, quit growing these fruits because of the uh, higher ages. Because so uh, they uh, quit those uh, growing fruits. So there are many waste uh, many uh, waste wood so uh, some company pick up those woods and make these very good plate from that waste uh, this is uh, one example of unutilized resources so maybe this might be the key uh, to facilitate the innovate innovation in the local area. Okay, so uh, this is end of my next, my speech, and uh, maybe we keep challenging new technology creation and making new movement or making new lifestyle innovation, and uh, also developing new innovation ecosystem. Uh, if you are interested in. Uh, those research or uh, those program chips, uh, please contact us. We are looking forward to seeing you in Tokyo City University. Thank you very much.